Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about this book. This book, right here, The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. Oh my days, the feels. The absolute feels. I don't even know if there was a time in this book where I wasn't crying. It's so sad, but so good. Maybe I should start by explaining what it's about. The Bronze Horseman is set in Leningrad in Russia during the 1940s and it follows two Russian people, Tatiana and Alexander, as they're trying to build up this romance between them. However, this is a society in the middle of war and there's a huge famine going around, which means people are literally dropping dead by the second. It's not an easy world to live in and as well as fighting for their relationship, they are also fighting for their lives. I want to start by talking about the characters in this book. I found them all to be extremely flawed to the point where I didn't like that many of them. Not to say that I didn't sympathise with them in places, but I just didn't particularly like them. However, with Tatiana and Alexander's flaws, they kind of balanced each other out. Tatiana, I think, was too passive. She let people tell her what to do all the time, and she let people just walk all over her and use her. Whereas Alexander was way too aggressive, and I felt some scenes were so intense. I didn't know what was going to happen. He'd just explode into rage over something and it was quite scary to be honest. However, I think when Tatiana was around, Alexander calmed down a bit and he also taught Tatiana to stand up for herself more and to express her opinion a lot more. So I think in a way they really did help each other. There is so much passion in this book, so much fire, so much tension over everything. You'd literally biting your nails wanting to know what happens next. I read the last 150 pages, literally in one sitting. I was up until about two in the morning, no, half two in the morning, finishing this book because it was so good. I just want to talk to you about Dimitri for a second. I have never been so angry over a character in my entire life than I have with Dimitri. I was this close to throwing this book out the window near the end. This close, he infuriated me. From the moment I met him until the end, he just got on my nerves so much. I hated him, I hated, hated, hated him. So I was pretty happy with what happened to him. There's a death in this story which impacted me the most and I don't think it's one you might be expecting if you've read the book. There are going to be spoilers here, I'll leave a thing right here to tell you. So until this goes away, if you haven't read the book, do not listen to this next bit, okay? I'll give you a warning, I'm gonna go now. Now for me, the death that impacted me the most wasn't Dasha's. I mean, her death really upset me, I cried a lot. But the death that got to me the most was Tatiana and Dasha's and Pasha's mother. I just think it's the whole idea that she literally worked herself to death. She died saying, I can't do this anymore, still holding the needle and thread, and she just dropped dead. And that is what really got to me. Okay, spoiler bits over. I love the description in this book. Paulina Simons describes things absolutely impeccably. I could just picture the suffering that people went through and the contrast between the good days and the bad days and how desperate people were as well. What this book does well is it doesn't try and glamorise anything. It shows people at their best but also at their worst and how if people are put in desperate situations it shows what they are really capable of. And I think a lot of books when they're dealing with something like starvation or a really serious matter they either make all the characters super evil or they make them really good and angelic. Whereas this book does neither it just shows what people are willing to do and what people are capable to do in order to survive and that was really interesting to read about this book is huge see how big it is but i did not get bored in one second and every single part of this book was important there wasn't a moment that i feel went on for too long or that didn't need to be in the book overall i absolutely love this i'm giving it five out of five stars I desperately need the next book. So that was my review of The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any comments whatsoever, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe as well. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you all next time. Bye!